If you thought Shawshank was a place to be terrified of, well, the world's most feared prisons featured in the list below will make that dungeon seem like a vacation resort. From Russia to North Korea, from Rwanda to San Quentin, these are the most violent prisons in the world. Not just prisons, but maximum security penitentiaries, often in the worst conditions, that keep the worst of the bad locked up. Penal Colony 6 of the Federal Penitentiary Service of Russia in Orenburg Oblast, commonly known as the Black Dolphin Prison as a correctional facility in Sol Aletsik Orenburg Oblast Russia near its border with Kazakhstan The prison is one of the oldest in Russia and one of the first in the Orenburg Oblast to accept prisoners with life sentences It gets its unofficial name from a prisoner-constructed sculpture depicting a black dolphin which is set in front of the main entrance Originally Black Dolphin was a jail for those sentenced to life at hard labor since at at least 1745 after the suppression of Pugachev's rebellion in 1773 the prison was updated for the deportation and confinement of robbers the prison houses approximately 700 of Russia's worst criminals including child molesters murderers terrorists cannibals and serial killers prisoners at Black Dolphin are all serving sentences of life imprisonment the prison began accepting these inmates on the 1st of November 2000 inmates are kept isolated in cells that have a set of three steel doors for 90 minutes a day they exercise in a large cage Age. During this time cells are searched for contraband or illegal items Inmates are also under 24-hour surveillance and supervision. They are not permitted to rest or sit on their bunks from the time they awake until bedtime roughly 16 hours. When prison officers make a command to the inmates they must respond with the words Yes, sir. Every 15 minutes a guard makes rounds to ensure Black Dolphin inmates are complying with the rules The prisoners are fed soup four times a day and are only allowed books, newspapers and a radio prison guards place blindfolds on arriving inmates so that they cannot map out the prison or plan escapes the inmates are also blindfolded whenever they are transported between buildings black dolphin prison officers have a unique form of escorting inmates prisoners are kept bent over at the waist while a guard holds their handcuffed hands behind their back higher than the hips this escort control tactic allows for maximum control while depriving the inmate of a view of his immediate surroundings preventing him from escaping and or attacking prisons Kamiti Maximum Security Prison is a prison in Nairobi County, Kenya The prison is within Roysambu constituency Kasarani District bordering Kiambu County originally named Kamiti Downs It sits in the middle of its own 1,200-acre estates which lie fallow and untended During the 1980s and early 1990s many political prisoners were held at Kamiti including Hussein Onyango Obama Kenneth Matiba Raila Odinga Kiji Wa Wamwar Ngugi Wadiango Jonah Angaka and numerous others Many executions have been carried out in Kamiti Mau Mau rebel leader Dedan Kamathi was hanged by British colonial administration on 18 February 1957 Hezekiah Ochuka and Pancras Oteyo Okumu were executed there on 17 May 1987 No death penalties have been held in Kenya since although capital punishment is not formally abolished Kenya's prisons are infamous for poor conditions and inhumane treatment although the situation has improved slightly during Mwai Kabaki's government since 2002 and some prisoners on death row have been released there is still no reliable water supply with over 200 prisoners hauling buckets of water around daily the inmates working in the industry section are paid only 10 cents Kenya shilling per day as per the outdated 1940s legislation which rules the organization within the prison condemned G block is famed for its particularly brutal lifestyle characterized by predatory sodomy and mobile phone confidence tricksters the prison was built for 1400 prisoners and it now houses over 3600 and Poor living conditions On 17 November 2008 a search was carried out in G-Block for mobile phones which resulted in a brutal beating by the warders being captured on mobile phone video and given to the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights KNCHR, and shown on Kenyan TV Kirigumi Wa Wanyuki was the longest serving and to date last hangman Akamiti Wanyuki died in 2009 In November 2009 at least eight prisoners died due to cholera outbreak at Kamiti Prison. USP Terre Haute is a maximum security United States federal prison for male inmates in Terre Haute, Indiana. USP Terre Haute houses a special confinement unit for male federal inmates who have been sentenced to death as well as the federal execution chamber. Most inmates sentenced to death by the federal government are housed in USP Terre Haute prior to execution with few exceptions. Prison Terre Haute is located in the city of Terre Haute 70 miles west of Indianapolis and established in 1940 on 1100 
26 acres of land the opening of the prison in this city was partly due to heavy promotion by Terre Haute Chamber of Commerce which eventually went on to raise $50,000 to pay for the property on which the prison was built the residents of Terre Haute initially embraced the prison due to the impression that it would provide jobs to local residents in addition to helping Terre Haute's economy while only housing nonviolent offenders the Public Works Administration issued a $3 million grant to pay for construction of USP Terre Haute in 1938 construction cost of the institution at the time that it was built was $2,150,000 the architectural design of the prison as a modified telephone pole design with all housing and other facilities opening onto a long central corridor it was the first penitentiary for adult felons ever to be constructed without a wall in 2004 the new USP was built on adjoining property with the old penitentiary becoming the medium security federal correctional institution Terre Haute was one of the first federal prisons to emphasize rehabilitation by providing psychological and psychiatric treatment referring to prisoners by names as opposed to numbers and allowing prisoners to talk during meals instead of eating in silence the institution initiated the use of the word inmate as opposed to other less appealing labels such as convict or criminal Opened in July 1852 San Quentin State Prison called The Arena by Prisoners is the oldest prison in California the state's only death row for male inmates the largest in the United States is located at the prison it has a gas chamber but since 1996 executions at the prison have been carried out by lethal injection though the prison has not performed an execution since 2006 the prison has been featured on film radio drama video podcast and television as the subject of many books has hosted concerts and has housed many no Notorious inmates as of July 2022, San Quentin was incarcerating people at 105% of its design capacity with 3,239 occupants men condemned to death in California with some exceptions must be held at San Quentin, while condemned women are held at Central California Women's Facility and Chowchilla the death row at San Quentin is divided into three sections the Quiet North Segregation or North Seg built in 1934 for prisoners who don't cause trouble the East Block a crumbling leaky maze of a place built built in 1927 and the Adjustment Center for the Worst of the Worst Most of the prison's death row inmates reside in the East Block The fourth floor of the North Block was the prison's first death row facility but additional death row space opened after executions resumed in the U.S. In 1978 the Adjustment Center received solid doors, preventing gunning down or attacking persons with bodily waste As of 2016 it housed 81 death row inmates and 4 non-death row inmates. Diyarbakir Prison is a prison located in Diyarbakir, southeastern Turkey. It was established in 1980 as an E-type prison by the Ministry of Justice after the September 12, 1980 Turkish coup d'état. The facility was transferred to military administration and became a martial law military prison. Control of the prison was returned to the Ministry of Justice on May 8, 1988. The capacity of Diyarbakir E-type prison is 744. However, the prison is sometimes overcrowded when the Human Rights Commission and the Grand National National Assembly of Turkey NAT, visited the prison in October 1996. It had a capacity of 650 and was accommodating 942 prisoners. Diyarbakir D-type prison which is provided for political prisoners can hold 688 people. What has been called the period of barbarity or the hell of Diyarbakir refers to the early and mid-1980s, in particular the years between 1981 to 1984, where the prisoners in the newly built Diyarbakir military prison No. 5 were exposed to horrific acts of systematic torture according to the Times. It is among the ten most notorious jails in the world between 1981 and 1984. 34 prisoners lost their lives in August 2009. Plans were announced to convert the facility into a school. The idea was criticized by Kurdish activists who wanted the prison to become a museum of human rights abuses although construction on a larger prison outside of the city has already begun. No decision over what to do with the existing Diyarbakir prison has been made. Kurdish activists activists and politicians find their plans for a human rights museum known as the Museum of Shame largely ignored by the state government as of now Diyarbakir is still a functioning prison. Mendoza Prison, Argentina with a population roughly three times its capacity Mendoza Prison in Argentina is severely overcrowded as many as five inmates are crowded into cells that measure only 43 square feet 4 square meters and many inmates are forced to sleep on the floor without mattresses Amnesty International reported on the conditions back in 2005 alerting that people imprisoned in Mendoza are in such a desperate situation that they have gone as far as to sew their mouths up in demand of better living conditions the conditions at that time were so dire, they included torture and in some cases even death to inmates. 
Prisoners had inadequate medical care and the prison lacked a proper sewage system, forcing inmates no other choice but to use plastic bags and bottles as their washrooms. A 2012 scandal at Goldani Prison, located in Tbilisi, Georgia, called international attention to the country's practice of prisoner torture at the hands of guards. Numerous abuses, including rape and assault, were revealed in video filmed by a 35-year-old former prison guard turned whistleblower. The videos sparked major protests across the country, and inspired actual reform in how inmates there are treated. Though conditions in the country's prisons have improved in the past decade, Goldani Prison is in the spotlight once again as the site of protests sparked by the imprisonment of the country's former president, Mikhail Saakashvili. Though various groups of protesters are both in favor of and against Saakashvili's release, the situation is calling attention to the facility's notoriety and reputation. The United States Penitentiary, Florence Administrative Maximum Facility USP Florence Admax, is an American federal prison in Fremont County near Florence, Colorado as of August 2022. There are a total of 341 inmates housed They are confined 23 hours per day in single cells with facilities made of poured, reinforced concrete to deter self-harm, and are under 24-hour supervision, carried out intensively with high staff inmate ratios The institution is an officially known as ADX Florence or the Alcatraz of the Rockies it is part of the Federal Correctional Complex, Florence, operated by the Federal Bureau of Prisons BOP, a division of the United States Department of Justice The complex also includes an adjacent minimum security camp that, as of February 2019, houses more prisoners than the Supermax unit The number of inmates at the facility has significantly declined, with a Prison Rape Elimination Act audit in early 2021 reporting that two housing units were no longer operating due to a low population According to this document, the facility has a maximum capacity of 551 inmates, with a current population as of June 1, 2022, of 344 inmates. USP ADX Florence houses male inmates in the federal prison system deemed the most dangerous and in need of the tightest control, including prisoners whose escape would pose a serious threat to national security. The BOP does not have a designated supermax facility for women. Women in the BOP system classified as special management concerns due to violence or escape attempts are confined in the administrative unit of Federal Medical Center. Kachin Internment Camp is a labor camp in North Korea for political prisoners and descendants of alleged criminals. The official name for the camp is Kwan Lee So Penal Labor Colony. Number 14 The camp is commonly known as Camp 14. The camp was established around 1959 in central North Korea near Kaichin County, South Pyongan Province. It is situated along the middle reaches of the Taedong River, which forms the southern boundary of the camp, and includes the mountains north of the river, including Parak San. Bukshang, a concentration camp, Kwan Lisa No. 18, adjoins the southern banks of the Taedong River. The camp is about 155 km square in area, with farms, mines, and factories threaded through the steep mountain valleys. The camp includes overcrowded barracks that house males, females, and older children separately, a headquarters with administrative buildings, and guard housing altogether around 15,000 are imprisoned in Kachin Internment Camp. The main purpose of the Kachin Internment Camp is to keep politically unreliable reliable persons classed unredeemable by the North Korean government isolated from society and to exploit their labor. Gitarama Prison is considered to be one of the most hellish places on earth. The brutal jail on the outskirts of Rwanda capital, Kigali, was built in 1960 as housing for British workers. It was later converted into a jail designed to hold around 400 prisoners. It currently holds over 7,000, and at its peak after the horrifying Rwandan genocide of the mid-1990s, was estimated to hold closer to 50,000 inmates. Men found a place to sit or stand wherever they could. Some even slept in the open latrines, soaked in Human Sewage LT Colonel Charles Kayonga, commander of Gitarama at the time, admitted it's possible some are innocent. I'm not saying our methods were always thorough, but the vast majority of these people are killers. If this material has piqued your interest, I invite you to like and subscribe to this channel. All the best.